hi loves and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing good so for this new tutorial which is a maxi wrap dress we're gonna need a piece of material some paint uh, a measuring tape a pair of scissors and as well as a matching braid so this is the pattern i've done i've drawn in one of my videos for the um wrapped up which i'll leave the link down below and um i'll use this for uh, the purpose of this video and this is also the sleeves that goes together with the um uh, pattern which um i will make longer because i want uh, longer sleeves for my dress so i just add a few more patterns and now i'm going to measure um, 27 inches from the top of the sleeve and mark that point um, at the bottom there I'm just finding the middle of the top of my sleeve which was seven inches so half of it is um, three and a half inches and I mark the middle down to the um, line I've drawn and now I measure the circumference of my wrist which um, was 10 inches I wanted it to be 10 inches so five inches on each, of, on each side so I divide the 10 inches by Four, which gives me two and a half inches on each side which I've marked down and I'll just draw those points uh, as shown and cut that sleeve piece this is then my sleeve pattern which will be cut and fold by that the edge I'm showing on the video and yes yeah, these are the two um, patterns I'll need and for the back piece I'm just unfolding the front piece uh, the front pattern like um, this and this will be my uh, back uh, pattern piece now I place my pattern paper on top of the fabric and I'm gonna cut it till the end of the length of the material and so these are the the pieces we need for the dress so two front pieces, a back piece it was supposed to be cut on four but it was my mistake I'm gonna fix it and two of the sleeve patterns so here is my back piece and I'm just placing my two front um, pieces on top of the back piece and pin them together by the shoulder and I'm going to make a straight stitch on each side and do not forget right side facing right side so this is the result now I'm just attaching my sleeve on each side of my um, skirt and um, my dress apologies I've pinned the sleeves and the dress piece together and I'm going to make a straight stitch and do the same on the other side Having done that, I'm just going to close the side of my dress as shown, pin the sides together and then make a straight stitch all the way to the bottom and do the same on the other side. I just took a piece of material which is 5 inches by 45 inches that I folded in half and I'm just going to pin it all the way around the top part of my dress as shown. Now I'm going to stitch that um, piece with the dress together all the way to the other side. This is what it looks like and I'm just going to unfold it like so and press it down with my iron. Now it's time to hem the sides and the bottom of the dress. So I just fold it like so and pin it down and make a straight stitch all the way 
to the bottom of the dress and I did it also to the other side and also to the bottom of my dress. two pieces that are 3 inches by 45 inches and these pieces will be used to tie my dress around my waist so I just fold each um, in half and I'm just going to sew um, a straight stitch on each side of each uh, strap if I can So I did the first one and turn it to the right side and press it down. I'm just showing you how I did it for the other side. It's time to fix it to the dress. So I take one strap that I place as shown on one side of the dress. The right side to be precise um, put it in like this and pin it together with the one front piece and make a straight stitch and do the same to the other side I now have to open one side of my dress for one of the straps to pass through to be able to wrap it around my waist so I just find way I will um, undo the stitches, um, undo it and then just secure the other stitches. So Now to the sleeves, I just went ahead and made a straight stitch at about um, half an inch and I measure my wrist with my elastic and note that I've left a space open when uh, stitching uh, to be able to pass the elastic through. So I'm just getting two of these and I will just pass the elastic. Um, through that hole and take it to the other side of the hole now that I've done that I'm just going to make a straight stitch to secure my elastic and just close the open side that I've left this is all for this tutorial my loves, I hope you enjoyed it, please leave comments down below, don't forget to share and subscribe and tell your friends about me and I'll see you guys on my next one, take care, bye!